Okay, welcome back. Uh, before jumping into the character array, I think I was getting too excited with the coding and I forgot that, hey, this introduction video, a tutorial video, I actually have to explain what I'm about to do. So, um, let's look at this. We have our, we set up our constructors, right? And they take one of the following into long double string. So this is why this uh, uh, main method just became unhappy because we're not providing it the correct parameter right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's give it, I don't know, 12. Actually, give it 123. Keep it simple. Can you see it says red X there and black, uh, like a black X there. Uh, Control Shift S gets rid of it. So now. Uh, and, and avoid these warnings, uh, I mean, ignore these warnings, uh, they just mean it's not being read somewhere, it's nothing to worry about. So now, here, what I want to do is, this is what's happening in the program right now, let me explain it. We have a string, and when you think of a string, you kind of think of a, a character array, right? So we have a character array that's just made up of... Let me see if I can draw it rudimentarily. Three character array. So here we got uh, one, two, and three. And remember, character arrays, what do they start with? Like, what position. Oh man. What position is that uh, number in right now? That's in position 0 of the array. And this is in position 1. And this is in position 2. So I have a digit character array. And in fact, let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and in a minute, I don't want to get out of this example. In a minute, we're going to go ahead and make this, initialize it to a, a value of 80 characters. But I don't want to leave this example right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the digit character array. So this is going to be, um, let me change colors arbitrarily to blue. So this is the digit character array now. So it's going to have 80 uh, slots, you can say, starting with uh, slot 0 over here. And it's going to end at slot uh, 79 over here. So slot, 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 slot. Uh, let me put an ellipsis, all the missing slots. So we're going to have that slot, that slot, that slot. And I want to stick, I, I feel like sticking these numbers in backwards. I, I just feel that it would help me keep track of everything. So I want to stick the number three into this slot, the number two into this slot, the number one into this slot. So this, I'm sticking it in slot 78 and uh, 70, oh, that's not 78, that's 77, and this is 78, and that's 79. So the last three of the array. So how can I do this? All right. So let's see. Do, 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 do. We have to make a for loop that's capable of doing that. And we're going to, let's use our max digits. We can initialize this to um, an 80 character array. Um, let me look up the syntax real fast. OK, the declaration to declare uh, a character array to a specific number is, um, let's see, it was the new uh, keyword and Wow, I, I was just staring at it just a second ago, and uh, I think I just blew out of it again. Uh, let me just look at my last main class. That's what I'm referencing anyway. Collapse all. Car max digits. So it's much simpler. Let's see. Oh. Eh, I'm messing everything up. Oh, it's in uh, brackets. All right, so 
there we go so got that settled so now I want to take it from the 79th I have a count I'm gonna have an integer counter I'm going to start at the 79th part of this um, character right here let's see int count oh equal to max digits there we go so it's 80 minus 1 which is slot 79 and I also want to start with uh, slot 0 of the string character array so let's see um, int counter equals 0 and in fact oh not int this uh, this actually uh, carries uh, on to all the variables that are separated by commas and that's going to be the second counter so obviously going to be counting in a different direction and what is here's uh, our first little debacle how does this we're basically going to stop this loop when this counter stops remember uh, this counter is basically taking from the string array that we had which was um, let's uh, go back to the example we had the three slots in the string array the one two three it's going to start at slot zero go to one how does it know to stop at two well, we're going to have to basically uh, count how long this is and this is where this uh, private integer variable comes into handy so let's go back to our public constructor implementer method and we're going to also make another method here a private void set length of car array and it's going to take a string of i and this is actually going to be a very simple method on this should be capital following camel method standards so we're just going to take this i and uh, dot length and that just gives the integer length of the string and we're going to store that in length of character array Let's see oh semicolon so I hope you just saw what I did there um, uh, maybe you should watch it in high quality and maximize it um, I I'll try to do live zoom in demonstrations as much as possible I uh, just like kind of lost track there but you see we declared this method uh, set character length of array and then we set the length of array uh, using the I as a parameter the string and then we just determine the length through this method which is provided from the string uh, library I guess and um, oh cool actually it shows you there and um, this allows you to set the length so the length this counter needs to stop let's see this is going this is going to be three in this case where when we're using um, in this specific example the length of the array one two three is it's three characters long so the length is going to be three and mind you this is slot zero this is slot one this is slot two so it needs to stop at two so it needs to stop at the length of the character array minus one I hope you see that because however long this is that's going to be the length of the string character array. Hope you kept up with that. So we're going to be running this as long as counter is less than or equal to um, the length of character array minus one. So it's going to start at zero. It's going to go to one. It's going to stop at two. All right. So counter 2 here is going to be always incrementing by 1 and this uh, other counter here and we have to make sure uh, I'm not sticking this in backwards I think I'm doing this the right way this is going to be going the other way let's see L let me uh, rethink my lot oh crap did I run out of time 
Yes, I did. I'll see you next video.